To complete the typical ridge closure installation, you will need a zip rib pan end tool, metal closure with foam inserts, number 12 diameter by 3 quarter inch low profile sheet metal screws, one part polyurethane sealant caulk, 1 8 inch by 1 inch butyl tape, continuous hold down cleat, ridge flashing and cover plates, number 14 diameter by 3 quarter inch stainless steel or painted plated sheet metal screws with neoprene face washers. Panels at the ridge must be pan-ended for secondary protection from water infiltration. There must be a minimum 3 inch clearance between the panels on each side of the ridge for the panels to accept the pan-end tool. The pan-end tool is available for both 12 inch and 16 inch zip rib panels. Place the tool on the panel and rotate the handle lever down slope. The turned up end should be approximately 90 degrees from the panel. Measure down a minimum of 3 inches from the end of the panel to the proper placement of the closure. Fasten through the guide holes of the closure and into each panel rib using the number 12 diameter by 3 quarter inch low profile sheet metal screws. On the rear of the closure, apply a continuous bead of one part polyurethane sealant caulk where the foam touches the roof panel. Then apply the 1 8 inch by 1 inch butyl tape on top of the closure. Repeat this procedure on both sides of the ridge. When the fixed point of the panel is at the ridge, the fasteners must be behind the closure. See the fixed points installation video for more information. Install the continuous cleat on one side of the ridge. Fasten to the metal closures with the number 12 diameter by 3 quarter inch low profile sheet metal screws at 12 inches on center. Hook the ridge flashing on the cleat and fasten to the closure on the opposite side with the number 14 diameter by 3 quarter inch screws with neoprene face washers at 12 inches on center. Install the ridge flashing cover plates. See the flashing expansion joints installation video for more information. 